led him into their council. Mark has, they held a consultation with the whole council. Matthew has took counsel. Oh, you know what? Yeah, they have to figure out what they're trying to do. Then bring Jesus into the council. Took counsel against Jesus from death. That has to come first from Matthew, then from Luke, and led him into their council. I need a they, and they led him into the council. And they took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. That happens first. Then it says, when they bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate. But first, I still have to have this statement from Luke because it clearly said, when it was day, they asked these questions. Matthew just skips this. Well, they say they held a council, and he already said everything in one statement. Mark also doesn't have this portion. But I'm not going to ignore Luke and say that it really all happened earlier. Parts of it, like I showed earlier, I combined. But I'll still have this. And led him into their council. Mark. And the whole council. I just have to go right into Luke. Luke, and led him into their council. No fact that he was carried or bound. The implication would be that he is walking, but being brought or perhaps forcefully escorted into the council. This is connected with what was said before in verse 66. The elders of the people and the chief priests and the scribes came together, comma, and led him into their council. So they're already in a council, and now he's being led in. John 18, 28. Then led they Jesus from Caiaphas to the Hall of Judgment. Just from one person to another. No mention of him being bound or carried. Mark and Matthew agree, and they give more detail. They have the consultation with the others, the scribes, and the whole council. And bound Jesus and carried him away and delivered him to Pilate. It doesn't really mention that Jesus is brought into the council. It just mentions that Jesus is bound when is not clear before, during, or after the council. And that he's carried away. This would have to be after the council, delivered to Pilate. So I could say after the whole council is when he's bound and brought to Pilate. That seems to be what Matthew is saying as well. When they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. When they bound him, they led him away. Not that they led him into the council bound, but he may have been there unbound, led in by his guard. Then, after the words that I'm going to put in from Luke, the fact that they question him one more time about being the Christ, they bind him and take him to Pilate. Which is really confusing, because the night before... Throughout the night, he was already bound. John is pretty clear about this. In verse 24, Annas had sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. It says that he was brought to Annas in the high priest's palace. If this is where Caiaphas lives... then he's just moving from one place in the house to another. Clearly, he's bound when he leaves from Annas to Caiaphas. But when he's at Caiaphas' place before that council, there's no mention that he was unbound, which I guess we can't draw too much from, but it would follow that he remained bound the whole time. 
So to say again in Matthew, after the council, when they bound him, they led him away, is kind of strange. Did they put him into a cell somewhere? Did they lock the door and unbind him because they believe he can't get away? Because he can. I'm not sure. It's not explained, even in Matthew, that he was unbound and then bound again. Only John says that he was bound before. Matthew and Mark say he is bound now. So I could say that he was led, bound, into the council. Perhaps he remained bound the whole time. That those couple hours in between the midnight or the early, early morning trials and now at this final consultation in the morning, I could say he was led bound, but I would be ignoring what it seems to be saying in Matthew. When they had bound him, they led him and delivered him to Pilate. That he was not bound before, but he is now bound and led. Combining this with John seems to say that he was unbound at some point in time. Perhaps when they put him in a locked room. That's all that I can come up with. And because I don't want to totally contradict what it says here in Matthew, I would rather keep the plain reading. When he was bound, he was led away, exactly as it says in Matthew, which may seem confusing, but hopefully a possibility of him being unbound would be read into the text. I think it does make sense if they're going to go away for a few hours to put him into some kind of locked room, and he may have been unbound and now rebound, which means that he may have been led into the council unbound, and then the binding was at the end. Because it is a possibility, and the plain reading of Matthew reads like this, that he was now bound after the end of the council. I'm just going to leave it like that. I have that they are taking counsel to put him to death from Matthew. This council would be them conspiring amongst themselves. Then they led him into their council. I can put the they that I don't use from later on in Luke, verse 71. And they led him into their council saying, because I already mentioned Jesus, it would be understandable to just say him now a few words later. Mark says the whole council continued as part of the group that was there. But I don't want to repeat, the consultation was with the elders, the scribes, and the whole council, and they took counsel and led him into the council. That's a lot of repeats. Now, I know this took counsel could be retranslated as conspired, as is underlined and explained in Matthew. And it's even a different word, council, S E L, as opposed to the council. C-I-L, but still, it would be distracting and annoying because it's not written like that in any of the Gospels. But I could say they led him into their whole council, but no, that doesn't make any sense. And came together with the elders of the people and the scribes and the whole council took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. I know it's annoying. Just imagine it means conspired. And the whole council conspired against Jesus to put him to death. And they led him into their council, saying, I'm going to save bound until after the council. Are you the Christ? Tell us. And he said to them, Now, just to mention again, I do think this must be separate from his first answer because his answer is different. Matthew and Mark have him saying, I am, or yes, I am. They ask the question, Are you the Christ, the Son of God? So, kind of two things. He answers yes. 
So I put all those together where he says yes. Only here does he give any other kind of answer. If I tell you, you will not believe, which is no. This answer in Luke is also after the morning time, Matthew, Mark, or before. So because the answers are different and the times are different, I think they should be separated as different answers. But I did combine where the wording is exactly the same, because since Luke doesn't have the mention of the first midnight questioning in his answer, I think it would make sense for Luke to combine the important answers Jesus gave in one place. Same with Matthew and Mark. So now his response, if I tell you, you will not believe. And if I also ask you, you will not answer me, nor let me go. Now I already have him saying here after show the Son of Man, I combine that word is in Matthew and Mark. And I saved their response, for we ourselves have heard of his own mouth, because here it's different from Matthew and Mark. Here it says, we have heard of his own mouth. Matthew and Mark say, you have heard. This is only the high priest speaking in Matthew and Mark. So here I'm not sure exactly who's saying it may be the high priest, but it could be someone else. And since it is we have heard, and since it makes sense that they're now looking for something specific, not just blasphemy, but now they want to have him commit treason against Rome, for them to say, he doesn't have to answer. We already know. He's claimed it before. He even said yes the night before. We have heard. If I could change that word to had, so that it would better refer to the night before, or if I could put the word already in here, I would. In fact, I really want to, just to confirm that he's talking about the night before, or a few hours before in the night. The four doesn't make any sense, so I'm just gonna go with we. We ourselves have heard of his own mouth. I'm hoping that when reading through this, you can do a little problem solving. He's referring to his answers before. Otherwise, if I don't have this last statement, we ourselves have heard of his own mouth, I would just go into the fact that he's bound. If I tell you, you will not believe. If I also ask you, you will not answer me nor let me go. And when they bound him, they led him to Caiaphas. Which I could do but it doesn't make quite as much sense as having their response saying, we know, we got what we want already, even if I don't say already. We have heard, and they lead him away. I think this is okay because it would explain that they're going through with their plan anyway. They think they have all the testimony they need at this point. So I'm just gonna keep it, and then I'll move into him being bound and led away.